Welcome back everybody, it's Jason G's here. Today we're going to be breaking down what made Mr. Savage perform so well and take home second place in the Dream Hack, bringing down a couple of secrets of success that he's doing that no other players are doing, as well as what he's doing in game to put himself in such good situations and pop off frequently. Hope you guys enjoy the video, make sure to like if you do, and I'll let it play. Okay, this is making me nervous. I've never, I've never seen somebody have 12 builds at this point in the game. He doesn't get a kill for a long time. Like a long, long time, I want to see what he does. To pad down there in the hill. Okay. Nice, good scout. The pad. So many people. Nice. He definitely goes ultimate low ground here, right? Yeah. Nice. Let's go play. Ever need a refresh? Just go low ground. It's also way freer. Nice one. He kills XP's again. Oh, he gets so stacked off that. He gets so stacked off that, man. And that's the thing, like, low ground, that literally happens the whole time. Where people just go low, and then... You can find so many things down there. There's so many opportunities to get kills and everything. He gets so stacked off that. So he went to he went into first moving and half half with so he went to half half with twelve builds and now he's like was cat mats a second ago so I've used a lot here. Oh, Tatum's get jumped on my tee. Nice shots by uh, Savage though. Comes the mats, gets control over everything, right? Very important. Put the pepper on. Nice, going back side. Did he go for that or no? Nice shot. Look how he gets the he gets the cone slide from a distance. Even though he's left hand peeking here, he takes he goes for full control and then he takes the shot, okay. Tomzy hard with. Tomzy's got some doggy aim here. Oh dear, Tomzy. Oh dear. Okay. He's got Savage. Crash pads out of that. That's what's scuffed, okay. Nice. Also, like decision, right? He got that kill on backside and storm, but he didn't go for it at all, right? That's really important. Just so he didn't commit himself late like, into a bad fight. Oh. Nice man. Holds the brick stairs there, right? See where everybody's at. What's this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Nice, good kill. I shot my T. There's no way he gets a kill out of this. There's absolutely no way. Does he just leave? Okay. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't walk in there. Bro, I feel so bad for this guy. This guy was close to making money, right? Surely. <clears throat> he just insta stuffs him as well. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate. I right, well played Savage, that was good. Crash pads over peppers? Yeah. From what I can tell, I just think, like, what you can do with a crash pad is, like, and what you can save with a crash pad. Like, with realistic cube, with a, with a pepper, you can't save, like, all your mats on first moving, right? And then have, like, cat mats going into second moving. I think also think I think like three crash pads in a stacked game. Um Yeah, let's see what it does. Three crash pads in a stacked game are better than Oh my goodness. Yes. Better than a launch pad. Just because they're more versatile of what you can do with them. I see what he drops here, like what's his priority here? Okay, put peppers. Peppers for a flop, okay.
Oh my god. That guy just got shot on, I think. Oh. Please don't die. Okay. That was almost really, <laughs> that was almost really close. Okay. That was a nice play. Crash plenty for height, like you can't really height take like that with a launch pad or peppers or anything, right? I know with peppers you could crank, but I didn't see anybody do that really in actual grand finals. Just because their mats would normally be shambles, right? What was that, man? Oh, was this Anas? Oh my god. Anas just made the god play, I think. Let me go watch his perspective. He got pumped at the exact same time, bro. That's what feels bad. He could have easily died there. Oh. That's a big feels bad. He would have had a 100% guaranteed win here. That didn't happen. Yeah, now he's out of shots. What does Anas do? Did he do the same high take again? No. Nearly. Oh. <laughs> okay, that, that's actually unlucky. That's actually unlucky. Alright, so you see how you see how DP is here on zone, right? Um just this zone just allows him so much um space. So obviously it doubles back, which is quite good for him. But if it doubled forward, then he'd still have time to go for a refresh there. And also to set up like either popping a pepper and doing like a smart rotate that way, or just crash padding or something like that, right? Which gives him time. But yeah. This is good. Oh my goodness. I was almost very scuffed. The peppers. That's very nice. Nice. <clears throat> I want to see what Savage could have done to get more placement here. That was a really nice shot. Does he commit for those mats? What do you guys think? Do you go for those mats though? I feel like a lot of the impulsive players, they will just jump straight on those mats, right? The thing is, Zone's doubled far and he doesn't know how many fish it is. Realistically, it could be just one fish, right? Um, everybody's saying yes or no. <laughs> yes, there's a fish. Mm, you can argue that, but like, He's got 40 builds and he has his own movement. Like he doesn't really need anything out of that, right? O apart from just the fish and stuff. I think it's more it's more risk to go for that than reward that you could potentially get from it, especially because he's got a good setup. Let's say he had no crash pads or he had no he had like 10 or 20 builds, then yeah, maybe. That was a nice rotate. You see he did the double edit up top. Nice, man. Bro, Savage is so fucking smart. You see that? How he turned that into a quick pad, right? That's clean. What could he have done here to win the tourney? Like, if he gets top five this game, or he just gets one kill here, he wins the tourney, right? Oh, Nikov did, okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and could learn a couple of new things out from Savage's gameplay. In my opinion, he's probably the best solo player worldwide at the moment in terms of consistency and how well he does in every type of solo competition. As always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I'll leave a full link in the description to the Twitch VOD if you want to watch all eight games broken down and lies that we did earlier today on stream.